Welcome to Oakdale Grove's Celebration of Beltane, a festival that celebrates the first signs of summer. In the dust of the galaxy swirls the spark of life, and we partake of it, we and all living beings. In the mighty helix we dance, and in harmony with all life we sing. To those known and unknown, remembered and forgotten, divine essences creating, preserving, and destroying. Be in our awareness, teach us your joy, let us share your sorrow, extend our limitations. Knowing that the smallest motion, the softest note, even the energy of thought itself reverberates infinitely at this place, now our temple under the sky. Let this ritual begin. Obeal, overlook these three shortcomings that are due to our human limitations. Thou art everywhere, but we worship thee here. Thou art without form, but we worship thee in these forms. Thou hast no need for our prayers and sacrifices, yet that is exactly what we offer you, our prayers and sacrifices. O Baal, overlook these three shortcomings that are due to our human limitations. O Earth Mother, cleanse our minds and hearts and prepare us for meditations. Why do we stand under the oak? This is the appointed place. Now is the appointed time. What brings us here to this temple under the sky? We seek this sacred space to celebrate and honor the Earth Mother, for the time of Beltane is at hand. We do not know what to offer the Earth Mother, so we offer our prayers and sacrifices, each of us in our own way, each of us with our own prayers, each of us with our own sacrifices. Let each of us now go to the sacred place, to the sanctum of divinity, in the temple of the Earth Mother, in each of our bodies, in each of our hearts, in the back of our minds, in the quiet of our spirit, evaluating all that has happened in our private lives since we last stood together, so that the secret essence may help us to understand these experiences as sources of wisdom and growth. With the spirit of truth and light within us, like the spark of the sun and a flame within the heart of every being. Now let each of us, within our own hearts, declare silently our personal goals for the days ahead and for our lives, and make our individual dedications to those whom we revere, or worship, or honor. Now do we declare our goals to grow as human beings, in joy and love and wisdom and strength, to promote in our action a human and interdependent society, to heal and protect the biosphere of this planet, and to further the process of evolution in ourselves and in our groups and throughout all time and space. We are together, yet we often feel separate, perhaps alone. We pour our energy into our offerings. Every sacrifice is a solemn act of catharsis. We sacrifice a part of the Earth Mother to remind us how truly we value her. For through the pain of the taking of a life, may we deepen our respect and our empathy. And verily, it is indeed an offering up unto the beauty of the Earth Mother. The Beltane Chant The Earth Mother wakes from her long sleep and smiles on us today. She brings us life. She brings us light. She is awake. The Earth Mother wakes and seeks Baal. We light our fires to show the way, to couch with the Earth Mother and bring forth life. Quickly, Baal returns. Baal, we welcome thee. O Earth Mother, we welcome thee. O Baal, O Earth Mother, O parents of all that live, we welcome ye back to our midst. Give us of your life, O Most High, that we may share your joy. Welcome are ye among us, O Most High. Smile on us who have kept your ways through the time of sleep. A hymn to the Earth Mother. Hey. 
Earth Mother, O Mighty Ones, we have called upon you and you have heard us. We have offered of ourselves and have faith that you have accepted. Yet each of us has needs for guidance and for aid, without which we cannot fulfill thy ways. Hear now thy children, and help us as ever you have done. Now let each of us, within our hearts, declare silently our needs we wish fulfilled in order to accomplish our goals. And we declare that as this grove, we need your strength and wisdom, your healing and joy, so that we may accomplish our goals and fulfill our dedications. Bless this grove and all present, and bring us all that we may need materially and spiritually, so that we may grow ever stronger in awareness, in faith, in sincerity, health, and joy. Come, ye winds and ye kindred spirits of the wood, from earth and from sky, from greening tree and running stream, speak to us of the coming of spring, of rain upon the hill and sun on the field, of the promise of ripening summer, of the quickening of life and quickening of spirit that springeth from the heart of all things and raiseth all unto life. From Samhain, now half a year past, we have kept watch of the sun that divideth time and we ourselves, and we have seen the earth barren and deemed that all life had fled. Yet thou abidest through all. In token of this, we have taken the evergreen to be a sign. And the evergreen do we consecrate to ourselves, that we may consecrate it to thee. We behold the seeds of spring, the supreme sign of thy life and power. O thou that returnest to the ways of the waking world, kindle within us thy joy, thy spirit, and thy life. Our praise is mounted on the wings of eagles. Our voices have been carried on the shoulders of the winds. Hear now, O Earth Mother, for we have offered up our sacrifice of life. Accept it, we pray and cleanse our hearts and minds, granting us thy peace, thy blessings, and life. Hast thou accepted our sacrifices, O Earth Mother? I call upon the spirit of the North to give answer. I call upon the spirit of the East to give answer. I call upon the spirit of the South to give answer. And I call upon the spirit of the West to give answer. Praise be, our sacrifice dedicated to the fertility and the renewal of life has been accepted. All present who are in the order of Dalin Aplandu exchange their white ribbons for their red ribbons. This marks the changing of the season. A passage from the Latter Chronicles 10.6 through 10.22, a response at Beltane. O Earth Mother, we praise thee. In all that we do, do we praise thee. In our getting up and our lying down, in our sleeping and in our waking, in our eating and in our drinking in our working and in our times of leisure. For we are alive only through thee, and in our every act, too, we praise thee. O Earth Mother, we praise thee. In all that we see do we praise thee, in the sky and the sea and the hills and the plains, in the clouds and the stars, and the moon and the sun, in the birds and the flowers, the butterflies and the myriad colored fishes. We praise thee with our admiration of the sunset and of the mountains, and of the trees and the streams, for thou hast made all things. For all we see do we praise thee. O Earth Mother, we praise thee. In all that we hear and smell and feel and taste do we praise thee. In the song of birds and in the roar of the sea, in the perfumes of flowers and freshness of a summer rain, in the softness of a kitten and the coolness of a lake, in the sweetness of honey, and the savor of fruits, for all that we hear and smell and feel and taste is of thee, and for all sensibilities do we praise thee. 
O Earth Mother, we praise thee. For all that we do, do we praise thee. For the love of our parents and for the love of others. For the act and emotion of love is an act and emotion of praise. And in loving, do we praise thee. O Earth Mother, do we praise thee. In our meditations and services, do we praise and think upon thy works and power. O Earth Mother, we praise thee. In the whole world do we praise thee. From the east to the west do we praise thee. And from the nadir to the zenith do we praise thee. We praise thee in the day and in the night, in all seasons of the year and in the myriad of years. We praise thee knowing and unknowing, believing and of little faith. For thou hast made and art all, and we can praise and admire nothing without praising and admiring thee. O Earth Mother, we praise thee. In celebration of the acceptance of the offering, the Earth Mother gives us the waters of life. These waters flow from the bosom of the Earth Mother, the ever-changing All Mother. And we honor this gift that causes life in us by partaking of the waters of life. The Earth Mother has given forth of her bounty, and strongly so. Behold, the chalice brimming. O Dalinaplandu, descend into these waters and hallow them by thy sevenfold powers and by the three ways of day and the one of night. Give us to know thy power as we take and drink of thy secret essences. The waters of life. Is there anyone present here who wishes to enter the First Order of the Reformed Druids of North America? If so, step to the center of the circle now. All right then. And then to thee, O Earth Mother, we return this portion of thy bounty, even as we too must one day return to thee. for a moment of silent meditation, reflecting on the events of the day, taking in the sights, sounds, and sensations in the moment, kindling your curiosity within. And now do we go forth into the world, secure in the knowledge that the Earth Mother has accepted her blessing and the season of life has returned on the face of the Earth Mother. And with that, I bid you peace, peace, peace.